Hi, this is Dr. Angela Grace. I'm a PhD registered psychologist out of Calgary, a former elementary teacher, and I teach a course called Comprehensive School Health at the University of Calgary. On April the 2nd at the Ditch the Draft protest, I had the privilege of listening to high school student Haley Bryant speak about the importance of consent. She and a bunch of other high school students organized a walkout for consent to send a message to um, the Board of Education and the government that consent needs to be taught well throughout school, especially in these times of hashtag Me, Me Too movement, um, issues of, of sexual assault in schools, and we really need to do this well. So it got me thinking, what is in the 2021 draft curriculum about consent? So let's take a look. So this is about the hundreds of Calgary students walking out of class and demanding better sexual consent education, as well as more action to support survivors of sexual assault. So what Adriana, Adriana Lagrange is saying about consent in the 2021 draft curriculum is this. Consent has clear expectations for students to learn about consent in every grade. Great. That's really important. Let's take a look at what there is. In kindergarten, it talks about permission statements can include communicating yes. Refusal statements can include communicating no. It talks about personal boundaries, um, determining phrases to indicate permission or refusal more about boundaries and ideas how to communicate personal needs and expectations. Awesome, these look great. 2021 grade one, talks more about boundaries. Again, consent is about giving permission or agreeing for something to happen. Boundaries are connected to an individual's body and personal space, and consent is established by clearly communicating refusal and permission. Grade two, safety is when individuals are free from injury, illness, and physical and emotional harm. Within the context of safety, individual consent is important in making safe decisions. And then discuss ways to respond in unsafe decisions. Grade three, consent is established by clearly communicating refusal and permission. Refusal skills and consent are important for personal safety. Practice refusal skills and consent in a variety of contexts. So essentially it's the same message in kindergarten, grade one, grade two, Grade three, let's look at grade four. Consent is critical to respecting others' rights, feelings, and belongings. Responsibility is respecting the rights and feelings of others. <clears throat> so in grade four, it starts to get a tiny little bit more complex with talking about respecting and responsibility. Grade five. So responsibility is being accountable for one's actions and decisions and accepting the results or consequences. Responsibility includes clearly communicating refusal or giving or obtaining consent. And it requires, responsibility requires individuals to reflect on their actions and decisions. Okay, so it starts to get a little more complex. Grade six, um, there's really nothing here about consent at all. It's more talking about digital privacy, risk-taking, taking measured risks, taking steps. Um, and then it goes into the legalities of sharing explicit images of someone under the age of 18 is illegal and sharing explicit images of an adult without consent is illegal. Um, in all my history of teaching, I've never heard of a child sharing explicit images of an adult without consent. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the 2018 draft curriculum. Um, so disclosure, I reviewed the 2018 draft curriculum um, in both 2017 and 2018, and consent was already a part of the draft curriculum. I sat at the table with, with a representative from the Sheldon Kennedy Center from Calgary, um, and we had very lengthy discussions about how consent should be delivered for early elementary students, because the 2018 draft only went from kindergarten to grade four. So at the time, Rachel Notley said, we'll be looking at some work for all grade levels. How do we talk about consent as early as kindergarten and moving all the way through to grade 12? We need everyone to learn what consent is and how fundamental it is to relationships between people. They need to learn that at a very young age and be comfortable talking about it. So consent isn't just about yes and no. Consent is about varying levels of comfort, dealing with discomfort and dealing with rejection. So it's it's a lot more complicated than 
simply stating refusal or agreement. At the younger levels, David Egan said, he is the former Minister of Education. It's more about basic respect around personal space, saying that you have to ask permission to touch and hug somebody so that even little kids understand that that is their right as well. So let's take a look at the 2018 draft in kindergarten that talks about personal safety. So the right to personal space, permission needs to be given before entering another's personal space. Personal safety includes knowing the meaning of safety symbols. Personal safety means being able to distinguish between situations that are safe and those that are unsafe or uncomfortable. And that it's important to ask for help in unsafe or uncomfortable situations. Investigate the meaning of personal safety, describe the differences between safe and unsafe or uncomfortable situations, discuss feelings, so emotional regulation in there as well, and identifying one's personal feelings. Discuss ways to respond, including asking for help, describe personal space, identify safety symbols, engage with picture books or other forms of text that address personal safety. So it was across the curriculum with multiple competencies, literacy and numeracy. <clears throat> so let's look at the 2021 versus the 2018 kindergarten draft about consent. So 2021 says yes, no personal boundaries. 2018 explores multiple aspects of personal space, permission, personal safety, uncomfortable, unsafe experiences and situations. So significantly more content. This could be taught in a 20 minute lesson. This requires thought, resources, exploration, and multiple ways of looking at consent. Let's look at grade one. So the 2018 draft has, again, a significant amount of information about personal safety communicating boundaries in telling others. So kindergarten identified, where do I feel safe? Where do I not feel safe? Where can I get help? The 2021 draft didn't even tell children that they can ask for help. It made it all about individual personal responsibility for four and five-year-olds. So this talks about trusted people, communicating boundaries, recognizing the boundaries of self and others, asking for permission before touching someone or someone's belongings. So it really is more, more extensive for a grade one. And then it also goes across literacy and numeracy with, with other competencies as well. So the 2021 draft says boundaries, consent is giving permission or agreeing for something to happen. The 2020 or the 2018 draft, again, significantly more information on how boundaries are important, personal safety, safety rules, communicating. So significantly more information here. It's going to be way easier to teach with more information than it is yes and no. Let's look at grade two. So it gets more, more complex. Oh, there it is. Personal boundaries are established by clearly communicating refusal and permission. Hmm. I actually think that was copied and pasted into the 2021 draft. And then it goes on to touch and affection are never a secret. So it starts to give, give children permission to tell if they feel uncomfortable, if they feel that there's been inappropriate touch. Um, it, it gives permission at an early age for kids to start talking about it. This also introduces cultural beliefs and practices can influence personal safety. So children can start to think about their family and their cultural perspectives on, on what influences safety. Um, talks about in, using emergency services, respecting the boundaries, um, identifying a safety network in unsafe and uncomfortable situations, cultural beliefs. And it starts to, starts to talk about in as early as grade two, um, safe and responsible use of information, such as digital citizenship. So in the 2021 draft, there was nothing. And then boom, all of a sudden, it was all about basically sexual exploitation um, in, in social media and the legalities of it. So this starts with digital citizenship as early as grade two. <clears throat> in the 2021 draft in grade two, it's safety. Individual consent is important ways to respond in unsafe situations versus the 2018 draft, which has significantly more information. 
grade three. So now it's about strategies for enhancing personal safety. So refusal skills and consent, identifying personal boundaries, need to feel safe in relationships, discussing about how to ask for help, discussing about travel and substances. So it starts to look at not just consent in terms of touch, but consent in terms of substance use. And we all know that that peer influence is more important in determining child substance use than the actual substance itself. If their friends are doing it, they are more likely to feel pressured to do it. So it also talks about, it also moves beyond the boundaries of personal, personal touch into different situations. And talk, starts to talk about proactive planning. So how, how can you be prepared for situations? Um, it also includes digital citizenship, protecting your personal information, practicing refusal skills, responding to unsafe and uncomfortable situations, and again, goes across literacy and numeracy. So it's really across the curriculum in multiple manners. 2021, grade three, consent. Clearly communicate refusal and permission. Refusal skills and consent are important, practice them. Again, significantly more information, significantly more contexts for children to practice in. So this one, teachers are going to have to find their own resources, make up a whole lot of work, try to figure out how to do this well and how to teach yes and no. This, the 2018 draft, is very crystal clear in what children need to know. So it's significantly easier to teach. Grade four, here we go, 2018 draft. Now, looking at different contexts and personal safety. So it talks about influences on safe, uncomfortable and unsafe situations, personal boundaries, having the right to make decisions to be safe. Oh, and here's responsibility. The responsibility to not put others in unsafe situations. It talks about environmental contexts, legal and illegal substances, cultural views about personal boundaries and social practices. So again, it moves beyond the individual and into multiple experiences, multiple ways of looking at things and multiple social practices. It gives more opportunity to practice refusal skills and consent and more practice in digital citizenship. Grade four just says consent is critical, respect others, be responsible. And the 2018 draft actually discusses all the contexts in which these are important. The 2021 draft, um, so the comparison has permission statements, refusal statements, personal boundaries, whereas the 20, which is, over, oh, I have to go back for a second. The reason I did not add in grade five and grade six is because the 2018 draft had not completed those yet. Those were going to be in the next round, so I can't do a comparison there. But overall, the 2021 draft is oversimplified. It is black and white. There is no discussion of power imbalances or cultural or social contexts. There is no discussion of how to accept no and deal with rejection without coercing the other person. It is vague. It is individual. It doesn't take things into context with peers and other relationships. It leads to victim shaming. It doesn't explore increasing complexity with age. And it has zero resources for teachers. In fact, when asked about resources for teachers, this is what Adriana LaGrange says. The draft K-6 curriculum includes expectations for children to learn about consent. However, it's the school authorities who decide how to implement the curriculum. It is up to school authorities to choose resources to meet curriculum requirements while providing a balanced approach to subject matter. So there are no resources identified by Adriana LaGrange for kindergarten to grade six in teaching consent. That means teachers, you're going to have to Google it. And I don't know about you, but when I was a teacher, I would be, I, I was freaked out about teaching consent. How are you going to know where to get the best practice resources from on your own? There's going to need to be significant training and resources for teachers, and Adriana LaGrange is providing none. The 2018 draft, it examines the complexities. 
It is multifaceted and contextual. It, dis it discusses cultural and relational factors, discusses changes to personal boundaries, discusses the right to be safe and the responsibility to not put others in unsafe situations. It is clear. It discusses personal responsibility and the need to ask for help. It becomes increasingly more complex and nuanced over the grades. It is teachable. It is consistent. Every teacher who looks at the 2018 draft will know what to teach and how to teach it and what is important. So another educator, Dr. Denera Exner Cortens, talks about sex education in the wellness curriculum. In the grade six curriculum, it talks about self-control is a necessary virtue. It only focuses on negative consequences. It only talks about negative consequences, including unintended pregnancy and STIs. And it's not even accurate because they are curable. There's no mention of sexuality being healthy and normal. There's no discussion of emotions around sexuality being healthy and normal. It can lead to children having an unhealthy relationship with their bodies and negative long-term mental health consequences. Focusing on self-control, abstinence, and scare tactics have been consistently shown to be ineffective methods for sexual health education. So the combination of victim blaming, it's up to you to say yes or no, and the complexities around relationships and sex education makes the 2021 draft harmful to kids. We also need to talk about bullying. So bullying and consent go together. The curriculum does not even fully define bullying and has no context on dating violence. It's extremely limited. It misses the key defining feature of bullying, which is power imbalances. Cyber safety is only discussed in grade six in the 2021 draft and cyber safety and digital citizenship started in grade two in the 2018 draft. The content needs to be in a healthy relationships unit and cyber safety that is exclusively focused on risk and negative outcomes and legalities that it, it's really scary for kids and it's not even introduced until grade six. It's going to be really shaming. So Dr. Denera Exner Cortens, her opinion is in its current state, the physical education and wellness kindergarten to grade six curriculum contains dangerous, outdated, non-evidence-based understanding of consent, sexual health, healthy relationships, and social emotional learning that shame students. This is not a curriculum that will cultivate positive outcomes and it needs drastic changes if it is to provide an appropriate education. My opinion, it is my professional and educated opinion that the 2018 draft curriculum has the potential to meet the Alberta education clearly defined wellness goal of students being educated, informed, and contributing members of society, and to develop the knowledge, skills, and attitudes needed to be well in every sense of the word, emotionally, intellectually, physically, socially, and spiritually. In May 2021, I wrote an op-ed for the Edmonton Journal, no means no for Alberta's draft curriculum. Over the past year, this government has not listened to the experts that this curriculum is an epic fail. And if they don't understand consent, how can they be in a position to mandate their version of simplified black and white, victim blaming, shaming consent in elementary school for four to 11 year olds, which are a very vulnerable population. So what can we do? First, you have to think about what kind of education you want for your children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, children that aren't even born yet, and our future decision makers. You can write the Minister of Education, your MLA, the leader of the opposition, and the education critic. Let them know again, this is not acceptable. We need to demand a full moratorium on the 2021 draft. We need to update the 2018 draft according to evidence-based evidence -based best practices and expert recommendations. We need to re-engage with our province's experts. We need to keep political agendas out of the curriculum. 
and we need to rally together to have our voices heard. So thank you so much for taking the time to listen. I really do hope that you'll share this and really consider what kind of a curriculum, especially, especially with the very, very important topic of consent, how do we want that taught to our children? So thank you very much.